Hey, what's going on guys? It's Scorpion Trucker. I told you that I was gonna make a video about my truck. The details of my truck, as some of you may know, uh, I am out of trucking officially. I am done, so I'm selling my truck. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys all the stats, all the details. I got a video here uh, going throughout the truck. We'll do that right after this. All right, guys, hey, thanks for watching. What we're gonna do firstly is take you for a trip around the truck. Then we're gonna go inside the truck and I may uh, chime in and give you guys a few details, but uh, definitely hang on to the end of the video because along with my truck, I'm gonna also offer some freebies that'll just come along with the truck. So uh, let's go. All right, guys, this is my 2016 Freightliner Cascadia. It's got 823,000 miles on it. And we'll just take a walk around. The drive tires are have plenty of tread on them. Just replace the, um, the airlines. Place the shocks at the latter part of last year. Brand new airbags, latter part of last year as well. And as you can see, got some really good tread on these drive tires. I have a Rigmaster APU. It works, but it needs a oil sensor. It starts up, but then it shuts off because it says it needs oil. There's a, a crease up there. These are my steer tires, uh, also excellent tread on them. And we're taking a, look, taking a look at the engine here. Got a couple of minor oil leaks in the rear of the engine, but they've been there for almost three years, so it really hasn't affected the performance of the truck at all. Again, new shocks. And now we're going to take a look on the inside of the truck. My dashboard. It does have an upper bunk. I use it for storage, but you can throw a mattress up there if you want to run teams, no problem. We have the big uh, wardrobe cabinet right here. You can hang up your clothes right there. Extra storage there and a little pull-out drawer. More storage below that. We have more storage up here. This is where I used to keep my microwave. There's a strap in there as well if you wanted to strap it in. There's another area here where I built in this um, desk 
where I could slide it out, pull it out to eat on it. And that's uh, just additional space down there and more storage underneath. That is a 3000 watt um, This is my uh, the Rigmaster uh, APU and the controls for the rear. Of 828,577 miles. Just wanted to show you guys here that the AC is blowing cold. You can't feel it, but it is blowing cold. Uh, because I live in Arizona, I do have my air conditioning serviced every single year. So I was, it was serviced um, last summer and uh, is blowing beautifully cold right now. As you can see, I got a DOT inspection and a PM service done just last month on the 4th of April. Okay guys, now on to the freebies. Okay guys, over the years I've accumulated quite a bit of equipment and I just wanna pass these on to who wants them. Here's a pack of gloves. Here's a rubber mallet. Here is an extra service line. Always good to have one of these as a backup. Here are three gallons of antifreeze. Here are uh, straps for the uh, chains. And a 50-foot airline. This thing has served me well over the years. I'm also going to be in including um, four sets of chains. It's only showing two here, but I have four. Also, I've got about a dozen or more straps here. I've got a bucket of various parts that will be included, fuses, and I'll also be including my Garmin diesel trucking GPS. I bought this unit brand new about four years ago and it still works amazingly well. I will also be including this window mount to go along with the GPS unit. These things cost about 40 bucks, man. So I'm just throwing it in there. But hey, that's uh, pretty much a synopsis of what is going on with the truck. Um, yeah, it's a 2016. She's got some bumps and bruises. She's got some scratches. But uh, all in all, she's been a great vehicle. Uh, I have spared no expense in keeping that truck maintained. And um, for the first three years, I changed the oil with full synthetic every 25,000 miles. So anyway, haven't had any, any problems with the engine, uh, so to speak. Everything around the engine has been replaced except for the water pump. I was gonna replace that uh, this year, this summer, but um, can't do that. But other than that, it's a 10 speed, um, clutch is working great. Uh, the brakes are fine. I've never had to change the brakes, though I did change one brake in the uh, front. Uh, about two years ago, it cracked, so we changed that, but everything else is uh, DOT ready. It's good to go. Please leave any questions you may have in the uh, comments below, and uh, definitely feel free to get in touch with me uh, if you guys are interested in, uh, or you know somebody who might be interested in purchasing the truck. I will uh, post uh, all the information about the truck here. Thanks for checking out the video, and um, hey, once again, thanks for tuning in to the Scorpion Trucker. Hit the subscribe, hit the like button. I will still will be posting content, so uh, and I appreciate all of my subscribers out there, and um, that's about it, guys. Scorpion Trucker, out.